Let's take our next question of section 2. So, the very first question belongs to chapter atoms and nucleus. Here, suppose a radium nucleus at rest and in ground state undergoes alpha decay to form a radon nucleus in its excited state. The kinetic energy of the emitted alpha particle is found to be 4.44 mega electron volts. This radon nucleus then goes to its ground state by gamma decay. The energy of the emitted gamma photon is in kilo electron volts. We have to find out. It's a very easy question, friends. Let's start solving it. So, by momentum conservation, it is very important to understand that P of alpha particle would be equal to n magnitude, n magnitude I am saying of the radon nucleus, right? Now, the alpha particle's mass would be 4 and radon's nucleus mass would be or mRN would be equal to 2, 2 and 2, right? Now, first of all, what is the mass defect? So, radium nucleus was having this mass, whereas the two component that is the radon nucleus and the alpha particle which were formed, the total mass defect we have to found which will give us the energy. So first of all, let's find the mass defect here friends. So if you see that is delta M will be equal to mass of radium that was given to us as 226.005, 226.005 minus triple 2 plus 4. This would be equal to 0 0.005 AMU right this is the mass defect now what is the energy release it's definitely delta m into 931 mega electron volts as 1 amu so what's the answer here so e would be equal to 4.655 mega electron volts now this much energy has been released this energy if you see contained in two particles one is radon and the other being the gamma particle so we need to find the kinetic energy of radon particle and then the gamma particles can be energy can be easily calculated so if you see the momentum of alpha particle is equals to momentum of radon particle from this i can also say that kinetic energy of radon particle will be given by mass of alpha particle into kinetic energy of alpha particle divided by mass of radon right so from here it is 4 into 4.44 MeV divided by triple 2 and you will find this kinetic energy of radon will be equal to 0.08 MeV. Now you have the energy of radon nucleus as well so the total energy of the gamma particle will be simply energy of gamma particle would be 4.655 which is available minus 4.44 of alpha plus 0 0.08 of the radon nucleus you will get 0 0.135 mega electron volt or 135 kilo electron volts this would be the right answer for this question i hope you have understood the question very well now let's move on to our next question that is question number two now the question you see belongs to chapter of ray optics as per the question a monochromatic light is incident from air on a refractive surface of prism angle 75 degree and refractive index of this prism is root 3 the other refracting surface of the prism is coated by a thin film of material having refractive index n as shown in the figure the light suffers total internal reflection at coated prism surface for an incidence angle of theta less than equals to 60 degree then the value of n square is so what we need to find is the value of n square and as per the diagram you can see this angle is a theta and light is getting inside and it is getting reflected internally that's tir which is happening right now right so if you see this is the angle c and as per geometry this angle should be 75 minus c right now at these two points i would like to apply the snail's law let's start with the solution at very first point if you apply the snail's law here you will write root 3 into sin c would be equal to n that is the very first equation important one now when you talk about the second surface this one you will write 1 into sin theta should be equal to root 3 into that is the refractive index of medium into sin 75 minus c now when you put this theta as 60 degree as per the question you will get instead of this root 3 by 2 that is sin 60 into root 3 into sin of 75 minus c now 
when you solve this you will get half is equals to sine of 75 minus c on comparing you can say 30 degree is equals to 75 minus c right from here you will get c as 45 degree now let's put down this value in equation 1 where you have root 3 into sine c is equals to n when you put this value here as 45 degree you will get n is equals to root 3 by 2 therefore n square would be equal to 3 by 2 or 1.5 so right answer to this question would be 1.5 i hope you have understood this question very well now let's move on to our next question now this question you see belongs to chapter ray optics again here an optical bench has 1.5 meter long scale having four equal divisions in each centimeter that means every division is of 0.25 centimeter while measuring the focal length of the convex lens the lens is kept at 75 centimeter mark of the scale and the object pin at 45 centimeter mark the image of the object pin on the other side of the lens overlaps with the image pin that is kept at 135 centimeter in this experiment the percentage error in the measurement of the focal length of the lens is so this we have to draw first let's start with the solution so for reference let's take a line right if this is the origin lens was placed somewhere here what was the mark of lens as per the question then optical bench which was 1.5 meter long the lens was kept at 75 centimeter and the object was kept at 45 so this is the 75 centimeter mark and the object was placed here at 45 centimeter mark so what is the value of u we have the magnitude would be 30 centimeter and the image was formed at some point here that is i and it was at 135 centimeter mark that means the value of v would be equals to yes 60 centimeter now while measurement of the values of delta u that is the error so u will be equal to 75 plus minus 0 0.25 minus that would be 45 plus minus 0 0.25 you will get answer u as 30 plus minus 0 0.5 centimeter so what is the value of delta u here 0 0.5 and the mean value is 30 now here just in the same pattern when you want to find v you will get it as 60 plus minus 0 0.5 again delta v is 0 0.5 now you have this equation of 1 point v minus 1 upon u is equals to 1 upon f when you put the value of v as 60 and u as minus 30 you will get focal length as 20 centimeter so this is the value of f we have but what we want is the percentage error in calculation of focal length so let's use this equation and by the error method this can be written as delta v upon v square plus delta u upon u square would be equal to delta f upon f square when you just put down the values that is this would be 0 0.5 divided by 60 square plus 0 0.5 divided by 30 square that is equals to delta f upon f what is required into 1 upon 20 that is the value of f you will find that delta f upon f would be equal to 0 0.0138 or 0 0.0139 approximately so when you talk about the percentage error that will so the percent error will be 1.38 or you can say 1.39 can be any right so i hope you have understood the solution very well now let's move on to our next question